Hi everybody. Did you know pumpkin is one of the best things we can eat to support our bowels to function well? From its seeds to its skin, it offers protein, fiber, and nutrients, all wonderful things for our digestive system. I'm gonna show you how to make four delicious treats using one whole pumpkin right now. So come and join me in the kitchen and let's get started. There's so much you can do with just one pumpkin. From main meals to snacks, it's an incredibly versatile whole food filled with healthy minerals, dietary fiber, and monounsaturated fats, which support the health of your bowels and heart. To create four great foods using one whole pumpkin, start by roasting it until it becomes nice and soft. This should take around one to one and a half hours. You'll know when it's ready because it changes in color, leaks a little liquid, and feels soft when pricked with a knife or fork. Slice it open and leave to cool before peeling the skin off completely and placing it on a lined baking tray to create savory pumpkin skin chips. I like to leave a little bit of the pumpkin flesh on the skin because it adds to the overall flavor. Sprinkle garlic powder and sea salt over the skins. You can also use your favorite dried herbs or spices to create different flavor combinations. And if you're someone who likes cheese, then be sure to shave a little over the pumpkin skins to create a great gluten-free, healthier alternative to nachos. If using cheese, choose from low inflammatory kinds like manchego, mozzarella, or my favorite, goat's cheese. Gather all the seeds from the middle of the pumpkin and place them on a lined baking tray. You can include some pumpkin flesh to add extra flavor, or you can just rinse them through a strainer to clean. Spread them out evenly and sprinkle with sea salt and your favorite spices that make for a great snack filled with protein, fiber, zinc, and magnesium. To save on time, you can place both the pumpkin skins and seeds in a preheated oven as they both roast quite quickly. For this reason, you'll need to watch them closely to ensure they don't burn. It should only take about 20 to 30 minutes, but every oven is different, so please use your judgment. Once ready, leave the seeds to cool while you enjoy the pumpkin skins that can help fight yeast and other bacterial infections in your body. When the seeds cool, break them up and store them in an airtight container. Use as toppings for soup, a crunchy element in salads, they even pair well with sweet treats like porridge. Pumpkin seeds are great little powerhouses of nutrition. They're also a fantastic nutty tasting alternative for anyone who has a nut allergy. With the remains of your pumpkin, we'll make two more healthy treats. Carefully drain the pumpkin liquid into a small container and set aside for later. Collect the flesh in a separate bowl to begin making a sweet tasting pumpkin soup that takes less than a few minutes to pull together. This recipe is a great one to make in bulk. It freezes really well and is easy to reheat during times when you're busy and have no time to cook. Using a food processor, blender, or immersion blender, combine pumpkin with full fat coconut milk, one of my favorite sources of lauric acid that helps to fight bad bacteria in your body. You can use any type of milk in this recipe. However, the coconut milk does add a great amount of flavor to this soup. Add sea salt together with powdered garlic, which adds the overall nutritional value of this dish and finish it off with a tablespoon of raw honey that not only adds to the flavor of this soup, but also helps to alleviate allergies and aid restful sleep. Perfect if you're making this for dinner time. Blend all ingredients until smooth. Start on a low setting, then increase the speed to create a creamy, dreamy dish that tastes so good. If serving straight away, simply pour into a saucepan to warm, or you can also enjoy this cold. If making in bulk, pour excess soup into airtight containers and store in the freezer. Served top with your homemade roasted pumpkin seeds and maybe some fresh herbs depending on what you have access to. One more treat left to make and I think it's time for a healthy, caffeine-free pumpkin spice latte. Forget the stuff you can buy at the store that's filled with sugar and fake flavorings, 
it's much healthier to make it yourself with a few simple ingredients. Combine pumpkin flesh with your pumpkin juice over a medium heat. If you don't have pumpkin juice, you can also use water. Add coconut milk or milk of your choice together with a little honey for sweetness and some cinnamon to help stabilize your blood sugar levels and support your immune system. Whisk to combine everything together before increasing the heat to create a fast simmer. Once bubbling appears, you can whisk further or use an immersion blender to combine ingredients really well. I find using an immersion blender helps to create a nice little froth on the top of this latte. Pour into a mug to enjoy straight away or you can also serve this chilled. Either way, it's a delicious, health-supportive treat that will satisfy your sweet tooth while supporting your entire body. For the full recipe, visit www.chrissybshow.tv. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.